The city of Murfreesboro is investing in new crime-fighting technology to keep our community safe. This here will be the Murfreesboro Police Department Real-Time Crime Center. MPD is taking the final steps toward the completion of a real-time crime center. We've got three workstations here that we'll be using. The center will feature two upgraded technologies, automatic license plate readers or ALPRs and public safety cameras. The department is also pursuing the addition of gunshot detection equipment with grant funding available through Governor Lee's Violent Crime Intervention Fund. The overall benefit of the Real-Time Crime Center is going to be the safety of the citizens, the safety of our officers, and the solvability of our crimes throughout the city to make our city a safer place. ALPRs have recently been installed on some city streets with plans to add additional ones through state grant funding. The state grant requires those ALPRs to be placed on state routes like Highway 231 and Highway 96. To so help identify uh, vehicles that may be entered into our national crime database that ha can be accessed from any agency across the country. Um, that can include missing persons, missing juveniles, uh, silver alerts, amber alerts, stolen vehicles, stolen plates, um, anything of that nature. The ALPR scan license plates of passing vehicles and alert the department of any matches to stolen vehicles or those associated with crime. Although the real-time crime center is not fully operational, the technology is already paying off with a license plate alert on a car involved in an armed robbery just hours after the cameras were installed. These LPRs have already been proven to be beneficial. Uh, not even 12 hours after our system had launched, we were actually able to help solve an armed robbery that had happened uh, the day prior. The automatic license plate reader technology even helped safely locate a missing elderly woman. This LPR system also helped locate uh, a silver alert, a woman who was put out across the state of Tennessee by the TVI. We were able to get a hit off of our LPR system and we were able to locate that vehicle. Okay. And she was safely found? She was safely found. This is going to be one of our public safety cameras. We are currently working with a vendor to get them installed. Public safety cameras will be primarily placed around the city based upon violent crime trends. The city currently has 17 cameras which can be relocated in the future as those crime trends change. So this will be mounted kind of on the bottom of this box here. You see it's a multi uh, sensor or multi-directional camera. MPD began establishing plans for a real-time crime center in FY22. Neighborhood meetings were held in June of 2022 to specifically talk about the placement of the public safety camera units. So this will be our monitor wall. We'll have at least three monitors that we're going to put up here. Another proposed component of the real-time crime center is gunshot detection technology. The system uses acoustic sensors to detect and locate gunshots in real time. This will allow police to respond quickly to shootings, identify suspects, and potentially save lives. As soon as a shot is heard in the area, they have uh, that has a technology that where it could pick up and decipher a gunshot, and with that, the officers will get an instant alert as well as dispatch, and it'll increase our response times uh, just in case anyone is injured or to. Uh, help catch any suspects in the area. As with any use of technology, privacy concerns exist. MPD is committed to using the technology for addressing issues of crime, while also respecting the privacy of those within our community. The ultimate goal of the Real-Time Crime Center is to obtain new systems with up-to-date technology and enhance crime-solving efforts across the city. For Behind the Badge, I'm Larry Flowers.